Video conferencing is getting more and more popular every single day, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. So today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Teams and comparing it to WebEx. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. On this channel, we talk about technology and everything related to the topic. If that's something that interests you, make sure you smash that subscribe button 2020 style. We're almost at that 2000 subscriber mark, so it would mean a lot if you did. Today, we're focusing on two very powerful platforms, WebEx and Microsoft Teams. I've compared these to Skype and Zoom and things like that in the past, but in reality, it isn't fair to compare these two platforms to any of those others. Why? because it's like comparing apples and oranges. Microsoft Teams and WebEx are both very unique, very powerful platforms. They're designed with big companies in mind, but also can cater to the smaller guys. If you need something that can do a lot more than just video conferencing, these are the two platforms you wanna be looking at. Both of these platforms have a free and a paid version. The free version for most users and most companies will be more than enough to get you through a lifetime of use. The paid version, on the other hand, is something that is worth considering if you're looking at investing and doing more and more video conferencing in the near future. If you've used video conferencing in any way, shape or form in the past, be it Skype, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, WebEx, whatever it might be, you're very well aware of the simple fact of video calling in 2020. It's very easy to start a video call with somebody without having to know too much about technology. Both of these platforms allow you to share your screen, share some files, have a library of these files so you can access them very quickly, use a whiteboard, draw, and share documentation in real time. Microsoft Teams has the advantage of being a Microsoft product, so you can integrate real-time Word and Excel and PowerPoint documents and actually have all the team collaborate on the same document at the same time. Both of these platforms stream in 1080p, which means high definition video calling for all of your video needs. If you're looking to stream up to 25 people in one space and have a mass teleconference, you can do this on WebEx. If you only need 20 people, this is where Microsoft Team tops out. If you're looking at doing web hosting or webcasting or a webinar, then both of these have some great advantages. Microsoft Teams, you can do a webinar to up to 10,000 people watching your live stream. But unfortunately, after 250 people, Microsoft Teams drops the quality from 1080p down to 720p and then continues to go down as the numbers increase. WebEx, on the other hand, can have up to 100,000 people on the same video conference. You heard me correctly, 100,000 people. Now, I don't know 100,000 people, you probably don't know 100,000 people, but if you work in a large company that's multinational, there's a good chance there's more than 100,000 people employed in your company. And this is where this platform really thrives. Just like Microsoft Teams, the HD quality does start to drop out, but it drops out after 3,000 people have joined. So you have significantly more numbers at 1080p with WebEx versus Microsoft Teams. During this pandemic of the COVID-19 crisis, both platforms are continuously updating their software, making it better and trying to get you to use their software. So recently WebEx has given you a whole bunch of more free stuff. For example, instead of maxing out at 50 people on a teleconference on a free webinar, you can actually max out at 100 people now. And unlike Zoom, for example, which gives you a 40 minute limited time frame during a video conference, WebEx now offers unlimited for free. Both of these platforms go above and beyond video conferencing. And if you're considering them, you're considering them to be a scheduler, a task manager, an office administrator, everything that they can be and they should be. Both Microsoft Teams and WebEx offer you a direct integration to your cloud services, your email services, and a million and one other integrated apps directly into the software. Microsoft Teams does have a plethora of more integratable apps into the software. So if you're looking to integrate more things than just your basics, OneDrive, Google Drive, things like that, Microsoft Teams has a much higher chance 
of having the integration already ready for you in a single click of a button. So what can you really do on both of these platforms? Well, you can chat directly and instant message anybody in your company or anybody using the software. You can video call them, obviously. You can share and schedule meetings directly in the software and integrate it directly into your calendar which is a great bonus if you're a busy person. With both of these platforms, you can call people from anywhere in the world on their personal mobile number. So both of these offer a cloud calling solution. Yes, this is above and beyond a paid feature that you actually have to go out and investigate into what your company requires, but it does offer you a solution that really allows you to step away from the current mobile phone providers and the telcos in your country. The United States of America has much better infrastructure already built in for this cloud calling, whereas Australia is lacking behind a little bit, but we are getting there very slowly. Both platforms offer very good security, but only WebEx offers you end-to-end -end encryption as an optional addition. Now, I have to stress this because from the start, WebEx is encrypted to be in transit and at rest, just like Microsoft Teams is, which is a very good encryption rate. The chances of your data being hacked whilst it's already at the servers of Microsoft or WebEx is very limited, but it does mean in some way, shape or form, regardless if they say they can't or not, somebody can access your data in between. So what have I really told you here? I've told you that both platforms do really, really well. Both platforms are able to perform at the absolute peak for the majority of your services that you're gonna need. But what I haven't told you is that Microsoft Teams has a little bit of an edge here. Microsoft Teams has allowed you to simply integrate other apps directly into their platform. So for example, their desktop app allows you to integrate WebEx directly into the software. So if you're using Microsoft Teams and your colleague is using WebEx or vice versa, you or they can simply click on the integration app button at the top, the little plus symbol, add WebEx, and then all of a sudden you can start, join, schedule, do anything on a WebEx meeting that synchronizes with all their data. You can also do this with Zoom, if that's something that you're looking for, for cross compatibility. With everybody using a different video conferencing tool and a different video conferencing platform, Microsoft Teams allows you to use that simplified version, that all-in-one platform. Having said all that, to my current knowledge, it only implements with Zoom and WebEx at the current time. In the future, it might integrate with every other platform out there, but so far, it's just these two. I personally think Microsoft Teams also tips the edge a little bit just by being a Microsoft product. It has the flexibility and capability to integrate with Word and Office 365 and all the other software that they offer seamlessly and gives you that live direct collaboration on the video conference. So my final conclusion and my final thoughts is they're both fantastic platforms that will do incredible jobs regardless of which one you pick. But Microsoft Teams takes the crown for me ever so slightly. That's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button 2020 style. And as always, I'll see you next Monday.